Hi everyone, my name is Paige Callahan and I'm a fourth year One Health student at Western University. So I would say some pros and cons of the One Health program. Uh, one of the pros being it's really one of the only programs on campus that gives you a true holistic and interdisciplinary approach to so many complex problems. There's no other program on campus that its goal is to combine animals, humans, the environment, politics, economy, global context, and put it all into one to be able to see how problems work. Um, I think also to a point, knowing a little bit of a lot could be a con because you're not exactly an expert in one thing, um, but you're an expert in facilitating those discussions, which is really cool. Uh, I'm passionate for the program because I'm passionate about health, health but I knew I didn't want to become a doctor and this is the perfect mix for me because I, it's not all super medical science and pathology. It's a lot of social, social sciences and geography uh, all mixed into one. The, and the program culture is awesome because there's only 11 of us this year. Um, you know, we get together for wine nights once a week and it's just a really supportive environment. So teaching style of the One Health program is, I would say, uh, it's lecture based. Um, we don't have any labs unless your fourth year thesis, you want it to be a lab. Uh, so mine is gun can be done completely remotely, but it definitely is very, very collaborative. And um, you get to write real proposals and innovative, real ideas to address problems in the world. I would say the pace is very doable of the program, but it's a lot of self-learning, especially in your thesis component, um, because whatever your supervisor's plan is, um, you might not have learned that before. So I think you need to be a collaborative person who enjoys critical thinking and, and proposing new ideas and actually willing to connect the dots between these different sections um, of an issue because they won't be lined out for you. So career-wise, One Health is very new. Uh, so in terms of what you can do, it's kind of up to you. One of the kids in the program got into med school. Others want to be a biologist or an environmental scientist, uh, indigenous affairs, liaison. Um, I'm actually applying for a master's of public health. So there's a lot you can do with it. It's kind of finding your path. There's no jobs laid out for One Health, but it's going to be important, especially at this world climate where we need people who are able to facilitate interdisciplinary discussions, because as we know, that's what's going to save the world. Um, and so recruitment process doesn't exist for these jobs. You could get a really anything health or policy on any of those domains would be great. So in terms of course load at Western University, uh, I would not recommend taking cellular physiology. That was not a kind course to me. Uh, and that is one of, there's a list of required bio courses. That was one of them. That was just a really hard course. And if you're like me and don't love the super, you know, tiny science details one and kind of enjoy more bigger picture stuff like social sciences, um, take the bare minimum in terms of those science courses and fill up your day with courses that actually matter to you and that you're interested in because it's not worth it to take an advanced pathology course if you don't like pathology and you don't have to take it. Uh, but just enough to understand the background is what I would recommend for sure. Uh, courses I would recommend taking because they're easy and they're super interesting. Geography of Climate Change 2133, amazing. And uh, Geography of Environmental Health and Human Hazards. Super good course, great profs, uh, and PATH 3500, although required, is a hard one. But you're gonna make it because it's worth it for the program. You actually have to study if you're gonna do well. Retyping and highlighting is not a move. And uh, Anki decks are really important or, and helpful, especially for courses like pathology. And I also think study groups is a big thing. Really make an effort to make those or find them in first year because they're in a collaborative program such as One Health, you really are gonna want that um, as, a, as a study aid. For me, uh, I lived on residence in first year. It was amazing, best experience of my life. 
one of the highlights of, of the last four years that I've been here. Um, I mean, you get used to not having your own space all the time, but if you can get lucky like me and had the three best sweet mates I could have ever asked for, um, then you won in residence. But it's, I think it's a matter of still giving yourself some me time um, and balancing social life, which is so easy in residence with studying and self-care as well. And then um, in terms of where I like to study on campus and go to, I love studying in the Ivy Building as a first year. Don't always recommend, but it was, it was good. Uh, King's Library is great if you're on the north side of campus or the seventh floor of the Social Science Building. I don't know if it's still there, but there used to be one table. It was a great study place. It was open 24 hours. Highly recommend. So in terms of clubs, I was in an three uh, acapella clubs throughout my undergrad. Uh, they were great clubs, once a week, low commitment. If you like to sing, they're perfect. Join Repercussions is a competitive upper voices group. And then the acapella project is non-auditioned for everyone. Super fun time. Highly recommend. So in terms of uh, support resources and that, I, well, I guess one of the things I wish I taught myself in first year and, and learn were more about those services because Western has them. Um, sometimes you just have to go looking for them. So the um, wellness center in the basement of the UCC is wonderful. There is a sexual violence prevention coordinator there who's great to talk to, gives you information, um, kind of directs you to resources if you ever need it. And she did a great talk in first year to everyone um, every first year. And just a great resource to have in case you ever do need it. Uh, there's an entire building dedicated to student services. So I would say make an effort to look at those because they're very, very useful and they can be covered under your plan. And looking back now, um, in terms of studying, make a study schedule, a daily one, and a weekly one, and a monthly one, and a semester one. I have a, one of those four month calendars, get one of those, write down your key deadlines, and then day by day, I actually have a plan um, to accomplish things, and then I can look at my big calendar and know exactly when it needs to be due by. I didn't have that in first year, and it was a mess. Uh, I would also highly recommend in your schedules, pencil in time for procrastination or some you time or some downtime because you know you're not gonna be working all day. It's not healthy to just study the whole day and uh, actually giving yourself time, knowing that the hour that you've allotted to do nothing, you're able to actually enjoy that hour because it's not like you're taking away any time from studying. So, and then in terms of, you know, mental health, self-care, which is so important in university, especially there's a lot of stress there's a lot of, of things going on all the time and it's just important to take some time for you to really reflect on the day and how you're feeling and and uh, every morning in my house we have this little sign on our bathroom mirror and it's all these positive affirmations and and uh, reminders and deep breaths and just things to start your day off well and know that it's going to be a good day. All right, to the best of your control, it's going to be a good day and that's what I would I would recommend. And then it's also, it's knowing that it's okay to cry sometimes. Bottling your emotions is never good. If you are really stressed, sometimes it feels good to let that out and then be productive with it and know exactly how you're going to improve your day or improve your study or improve the grade that you got on an exam. Because grades are not everything. University is so much more than just school and it can be absolutely amazing because you are smart and you are capable and don't lose sight of that even when things get hard in school because trust me, um, being in fourth year and almost done, it is so worth it.